maybe you just hate the thought of me with someone new. Brownsburg High School and thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, February 12th. I'm Ben Myers and I'm Blake Fawnen and here's what's going on at BHS. The FCA Club is having a Bring a Friend Day this Friday, February 16th. Everyone is welcome to join them in the LGI room starting at 7:10 a.m. for pancakes and fun. The AP test registration period ends this Friday, February 16th. If you have not registered or paid, for your tests, you need to visit the total registration site and do so before this Friday to avoid a late charge. If you have any questions, please ask your AP teacher or guidance counselor. There will be a history club meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, February 13th after school in the LGI room. The theme is Love and History. See Ms. Crone with any questions. Young Life meets every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Follow Brownsburg underscore YL on Instagram for more information. or. Talk to Ms. Paul or Ms. Boffman. The Quality Alliance Club meets every Tuesday after school from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in Mr. Lee's room in Senior Academy 212. Stop by for an all-inclusive and safe space for friendly discussion, friendly people, and a safe environment. If you want to learn more about the club, be sure to stop by and check it out. The Quality Alliance is an LGBT plus inclusive club. The 2018 Hop for Hope event will take place on Tuesday, February 20th at the Sky Zone in Plainfield. There will be a dodgeball tournament, slam dunk contest, food, karaoke, and open jump time. You can join the fun with a minimum of just a $5 donation, and all proceeds will benefit sheltering wings. The Brownsburg PSG will be selling flowers in the lunchroom through tomorrow, February 13th. The flowers are $2, and they will be delivered along with a message to the person of your choice on Valentine's Day. Wednesday, February 14th, during third period. The money raised will be used to help fund scholarships for BHS students, so don't forget to bring some extra cash to lunch to send someone special a flower. With the NBA season underway, Jake Harris gives us the scoop on the NBA All-Star Weekend. Um, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the time to throw that to the side, yo. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, when you're not around, when you throw that to the side, yo. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, 713. For a lot of NBA players, being named an All-Star is one of the biggest accomplishments of their whole career. This year, there are a lot of new changes coming to the All-Star game, including a new draft system where the two highest voted players look to pick their teams. This year, it was LeBron James and Stephen Curry. Uh, I like it. I think it brings something new to it. I think the uh, NBA All-Star game can be kind of uh, boring sometimes just because it's not very competitive, uh, but I think it's kind of a new aspect where um, it'll be better, I think. The draft this year is going to be pretty cool. It's going to have all of you get to pick your own. I really like that. It makes me feel like it's kind of like a, uh, they're playing kids again. Like they're in high school, so I think that's really cool about it. Also, there are new jerseys this year to go along with all that, featuring the Jordan brand and their team logo. They go hard, the black and white, and it has like the has the uh, team actual like uh, name on them for the players. That goes hard. That's a banner. Also, hometown hero Victor Aldipo is in the All Star game and the dunk contest. Victor Aldipo is gonna kill. He's gonna kill it. The dunk contest, he's got that. He he did 360 the other night like it was nothing, and he out here just warming up and doing dunks. He he got it for sure. He's too good. He's too good. 
Best of luck to all the NBA All-Stars this year. Jake Harris, BHS TV. Yeah, I sure am excited for the upcoming NBA All-Star Weekend. Who are you excited in seeing most? I'm excited to see Steph Curry in action. Cool. Well, now we'll go ahead and send it over to Robbie with sports. Hey, Robbie, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys. We just wrapped up a very busy weekend of BHS sports. Let's start things off with the varsity wrestling team who competed at Evansville on Saturday. The guys won their third consecutive semi-state championship, and seven Bulldog wrestlers will travel to Banker's Life Fieldhouse to chase their dream of a state championship. Congrats to the following wrestlers as they get ready to compete in front of 15,000 people. Kyson Montgomery, Drake Campbell, Ty Mills, Drew Kreitzer, Blake Mulkey, Braden Lee, and Nathan Walton. The first round begins Friday at 6 p.m. and the action continues Saturday at 9.30 a.m. The girls varsity basketball team competed in regionals at Decatur Central on Saturday. The ladies season came to an end with a 58-50 overtime loss to eventual regional champions Warren Central. The dogs finished with a 19-6 record, a share of the HCC conference title and the sectional championship. Congrats on a great season. And the girls swimming and diving team wrapped up their season on Saturday at IUPUI in the state finals. Congrats to Logan Roplogo who finished 31st in the 200 IM and the 200 free relay team of Maria Gutzweiler, Jolie Claudefelter, Elise Dockel, and Bela LaPaw who finished 28th. In diving, Emma Wolf finished 28th and Hannah Truax made the first round cut and finished 18th. Congrats on a great season, ladies. And the boys basketball teams hosted Noblesville on Friday night. The varsity improved to 16-4 on the season with a 46-37 win over the Millers. The dogs were led by Antrez Baker with 19 points and 6 rebounds. Reese Thomas had 5 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists, and Cameron Alfred had 7 points, 5 rebounds, and 6 assists. The guys will host Plainfield tomorrow night. The freshman boys defeated Noblesville 41-37. Talibe Diallo had 19 points and 5 rebounds in the game, while Brian Lomax added 9 points. The guys conclude their regular season tomorrow night against Plainfield. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Robbie. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching and have a great day. We will see you on Wednesday. to be a fool so give some credit